Welcome to Huntsford, a small market town in the heart of the English countryside. Chantelle signs the agreement for her beauty salon and Sam and Raymond discuss extra staff. Oh, hi Chantelle. V, Chantelle's here to sign the agreement. Hi Chantelle. Let's go to the back where it's quiet. This colour will take 20 minutes, Sandra, and I'll be back to do the cut. Can I get you a drink, a magazine? Just a magazine, please. Phew, it's good to sit down for five minutes. It's been manic this morning. Anyway, this should be fairly straightforward. I hope so. My lawyer did have a few questions. You have a lawyer? Well, he's David's lawyer, really. But as he says, you can't be too careful. Uh, okay, far away. Right. <clears throat> Will your public liability cover all of my employees? Chantel, this room is too small for even two people to work in at the same time. I know, but when business really gets going, my David won't want me working six days a week, so I'll need someone for when I'm not here. I see. Well, it should cover anyone in the building, but I will need to know anyone that you employ. I don't want casuals wandering in and out. Fair enough. Now, this room's not quite as smart as the salon. How are you going to fit it out? <laughs> it's just being painted. And there are cupboards for your stock. Obviously, you can add your own touch to it within reason, but that's at your own cost. Yeah, I'll definitely need to do that. Would you consider a tanning cabinet next door? In the kitchen? Well, Sam and Raymond live upstairs, and you go to Carmella's to eat. Remember, I will be bringing a lot of clients to your salon. And there are lots of clients in my salon who will go to you. It works both ways. Look, Chantelle, we can talk until we're blue in the face. Let's just sign the agreement that you rent the back room for your nail bar and in six months we'll all look at the figures. And if they're good, then we can reconsider the best expansion plans. OK. But remember, if things go wrong, we have lawyers. Sorry, Sandra. I don't know what's keeping Fiona. Ah, oh, here she is. Sorry, Sam. Next time, send me Alan Sugar. I had to deal with questions from Dave's lawyer. Gosh, I'd have thought Dave was hoping things wouldn't work out here. He'd rather she stayed in the shop with him. Yes, but she's been doing the mobile work in the evenings and he's terrified when she's driving on her own. Well, after finding that body and the Hendersons being run off the road, I can understand. The other day, they were arguing because he wanted to go with her. Imagine Dave lurking around when she's waxing your bikini bits. Oh, yuck! Talking of body bits, look, they've done a facial reconstruction in the paper. Does it remind you of anyone? Um, not sure. Mm, I don't know. I mean, he could have had moles or spots. There's no personality with these facial reconstructions, is there? Must have been a handsome chap, though. But the eyes are empty. I feel like he reminds me of someone... But it can't be anyone I know. I've not been here long enough. I know what you mean. I feel like I've seen him, but I can't think where. Oh, hi, Dad. Thank goodness you're back. Fee had to leave early. Can you cash up while I clear away? Goodness, this place looks a mess. God, those towels should be in the machine at... Why have those colour bowls not been washed up? It's because we've been run off our feet coping without Mario. We could really have done with an extra pair of hands today. So Mario's definitely gone then? Looks like it. Where's he gone? Carmela's got no idea. He phoned from the airport, but she doesn't know where he was going. I always said that boy was unreliable. Carmela's in bits. She can't stop crying. Well, maybe if she brought him up better, this wouldn't have happened. Dad! You know what a caring mother she is. I mean, she doesn't seem to have a life outside Mario in the cafe. Unlike your mother, who seems to enjoy living everywhere else except with us. Dad, that's not fair. Look, the point is, we need to replace Mario, unless you want to be here every day doing his work. So we need another apprentice. Actually, Dad, I think we'd be better off to just employ a qualified junior. That sounds like a very good idea. It means we can focus on establishing the salon and we don't need to worry about training an apprentice. Hang on. Why would we have to pay a proper wage for someone to do apprentice duties? Because a junior is already trained. No, no, no. No, no need for that. I think an apprentice would be much more suitable. 
Leave it with me. I'll get Fiona onto it first thing tomorrow.